majority of the oh he's on especially african american democrats <laughs> no way and, and audio difficulties you can't hear what he's saying oh they didn't turn his mic on oh okay well, so this is how the bernie sanders campaign will end not with a whimper but with technical difficulties Wow, so Bernie Sanders is suspending his campaign. He says he's still going to stay on the ballot, but he's not going to actively campaign. He's basically conceding the nomination to Biden, who Bernie just a couple weeks ago said was unfit to run against Trump. It, this is stunning. I have to feel bad, though, for Bernie Sanders supporters because they got screwed in 2016 by the Democratic Party, and now they're getting screwed by Bernie himself. So they the campaign hasn't released the fundraising numbers for the last month or two. But we do know that in the last debate, Bernie Sanders was bringing in, I think, a donation every five seconds, more than that, a couple donations every five seconds during the debate. He, he's been raising millions and millions of dollars. We're in the middle of a pandemic. The economy shut down. Businesses are closed. Americans have lost their jobs. And this socialist, remember, the, the richest socialist in America, he owns three houses, right? All for him, none for you. This Democratic Socialist was still milking his supporters for their money. Now they've lost their jobs. They've lost their small businesses. But his campaign still has, by my count, I was looking at today, I think his campaign still has $20 million in the bank. And what are they going to do with it? They're going to spend it on Joe Biden. So you have to think that this is... This is borderline malpractice that the Sanders campaign continued to call for people to donate when they knew that people were losing their jobs. And then to turn around and do this, listen, Bernie Sanders only stayed in the race because he wanted to make sure that the people who wanted to vote for him got a chance to do so. So we stayed in through yesterday. Wisconsin voted yesterday, but the Wisconsin state government isn't releasing the results until April 13th. The Supreme Court stepped in and stopped Wisconsin from delaying the election. But the Supreme Court didn't block them from delaying the results, weirdly enough. So Bernie Sanders stayed in to let people vote for him, but he didn't even stay in long enough to hear the results of the primary. Uh, again, I have to feel sorry for Bernie Sanders supporters. They've, they've put their trust in a man who doesn't deserve it, right? He's He just dropped out and handed Joe Biden the nomination. And we've covered on this channel how out of touch Joe Biden is, how ridiculous Joe Biden is how he's a gaff machine, how he doesn't know where he is, doesn't know what's going on. Bernie Sanders could have beat Joe Biden, right? Joe Biden is not doing well. So for him to just completely give up, suspend his campaign, he says he could still come in at the convention if necessary, technically, since it's just a suspension. But for him to basically call it quits, it's a stab in the back to his supporters. And obviously, that's good for conservatives, right? We don't want a united left. And frankly, there's really no reason for Bernie Sanders supporters to want to support Joe Biden. He is everything that Bernie Sanders warned them about against. But uh, again, it, it has to really be a gut punch to these people because the campaign was still collecting donations yesterday. People were still donating to the campaign yesterday. And uh, the biggest takeaway is no refunds. You gave your money to a Democratic Socialist with three houses. Better luck next time, I guess. No refunds. Enjoy. Your hard-earned money is now going to go towards electing Joe Biden, whether you like it or not. Um, so, yeah, I, I, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> First of all, the audio difficulties, yeah, I make fun of it. Every, it can happen to anyone. Um, but I'm more like concerned over the fact that this Democratic Socialist milked his supporters for m over a month, knowing that he had no path to win the presidency. And these people have lost their jobs, lost their their uh, income, and might even be losing their homes or, or their their cars. We have no idea, right? He still was milking them for all they had. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. Do you think that they should get a refund? Let me know if you think that Bernie Sanders supporters should get refunds or... Do you agree with no refunds? Let me know in the comment section below. And make sure that you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. It really helps as we try to grow the channel. Thanks.